from or good night. <laughs> Hi everyone. Um please confirm you can hear me clearly. Loud and uh, can hear you. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. So how is everyone doing? Welcome to today's session. It promises to be an exciting session. Okay, so we still have more people joining us, but we are just going to get started now. All right. So um, my name is Damlola. I'm the head of data for Telanalytics, and I would love to. I want you to drop your name and where you are joining from. So in the chat, please drop your name and where you are joining us from. So um, your name and where you are joining from. Okay, Paul from Port Harcourt, welcome. Valentine from Lagos, Nigeria. Williams, Lagos, Sibel. Thank you for joining us. Nina, Solomon. It's nice to have you guys here. Um, Florence from Lagos. Anderson from Turkey. Thank you for joining. Okay, keep it coming. Let's keep it coming. Let's keep it going. Your name and where you're joining us from. Are you from Ibadan? Welcome. I've been. I've been be me follow okay i'll be me follow from canada thank you for joining us um my story manuela chooks chooks hi chooks thank you for joining us so um while we are doing that i'm just going to pull up my slides and we're just going to get started so today we are basically going to be doing a lot of budget showcase um you you're going to be seeing what our um current participants are currently doing all right so what students are doing at the moment at Stenalytics, that's what you're going to be seeing okay so but before that i'm just going to do a brief introduction of Stenalytics, basically for people that have not heard about analytics but before that if you if this is the first time you'll be hearing about analytics can you drop one in the chat if this is the first time you will be hearing about analytics drop one i want you to drop one in the chat in the comment section if this is your first time, okay, accounts, Olubumi, okay, so um, thank you for joining us. It's nice to have you guys here, okay? So what I'm going to do is just pull up my slides and, okay, I'm seeing a lot of, a couple of ones, Isaac, Frank, okay, 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 okay. So um, let me just introduce to you what analytics um, is about, who we are and what we do. That's what I'm going to be introducing to you, okay? So let's take back and yeah, here we go. Okay, please confirm you can see my screen. Please confirm you can see my screen. Yes, I can see. Oh, okay. Um, thank you very much. All right. So welcome to this. Ah, thank you. I tell you might want to rename your um IDs so that I can call you by your appropriate name if you don't mind. All right. So um welcome to this project showcase. Promises to be an exciting one. All right. So oh how we Tenalytics is the one hosting this space today, and I want to introduce to you who we have. Tenalytics is an ed tech educational technology company helping africans and people of the black community learn premium tech skills and lowering the entry barrier into tech all right so what we do at analytics is to help you learn premium tech skills we help you learn the skills so much so that you can easily enter into the tech field with leads to to no tech knowledge all right. So Tenalytics is an ed tech company helping Africans and people of the Black community um, learn premium tech skills and also lowering the entry barrier into tech. Our service offerings are aimed at building capacity. We are so big on building capacity and understanding across different tech fields, including data analytics, business analysis, data engineering, um, data science, financial analytics, HR analytics and power platform um, engineering. Okay, I'm actually saying she can't hear me. Can every other person hear me? Can you guys hear me? 
Okay, so please drop it. Okay, thank you very much. So I'm actually, you might want to like um click on the microphone microphone icon on your screen to dial in into the call, all right? Okay, thank you very much, everyone. So our service offerings, like I said, includes data analytics, data engineering, HR analytics, power platform engineering, and financial analytics engineer. Um, financial analytics, that's all we're here for today. All right. So um our facilitators are top professionals. We bring you the best of the best, the best out of the crop. That's what we bring for you. Our facilitators are top professionals from diverse sectors and reputable organizations like Apple, Microsoft, um, McKinsey and for uh, company, Amazon, all right, Amazon, PwC, Deloitte. KPMG, Sahara Group, P&G, Google, Coca-Cola, and so on and so forth. So we have facilitators from diverse, um, diverse sector uh, that are always coming in to, to interact with our students. Our courses are structured in a way that makes it practical and ensures that you get optimal value. Our courses are project-based life case study right so you're not coming to come and be working on dummy data all the time you're coming to work on life case studies and our courses are structured in a way that even if you don't have any background in tech maybe you studied english language in school or you studied art and craft and just now you're looking to get into tech you don't necessarily have to have any knowledge about it right so our courses are structured in a way that they are very beginner friendly and they literally like hold you by your hands, all right? So our courses are structured in a way that makes it practical and ensures that you get optimal value for every single, um... okay, I'm gonna slow down. Okay, so um, you get optimal value for every single um, sweat or dime that you put into, into it, okay? um meet the founders of tenalytics meet the founders of tenalytics we have uh, on my left okay yeah it's my left you would find um adeza suleiman is the founder of tenalytics adeza is a data analytics expert okay he has also worked as a data analyst in the business performance um Office of Sara Group Limited he is a data and he used to work as a data analytics consultant in FITC. And this has close to a decade experience in data analytics and management, consulting, um, data analytics and management consulting. He has worked in the sports sector, financial services, ed tech, energy, and automobile sectors these are the different areas that adiza has worked in he's an expert to the core all right if you go on on linkedin you'll find him at adiza suleiman if you go on twitter you find him as um at adiza suleiman as well if you go on instagram you find him as adiza suleiman so he is the the founder of tenalytics and on my right hand side i i have the co-founder of tenalytics the ephemina ipro himself Okay, so if you now works as a business data support lead at um the post office in the UK, he also works as a global business systems analyst um in Teleflex Ireland. He has also worked as a business intelligence developer in DPD Ireland. Okay, so if you now as is a data scientist with close to a decade experience. That's like close to 10 years experience cutting across multiple sectors talk about energy talk about oil and gas talk about education he has experience in different sectors okay and he also holds a master's degree in data analytics from the Athlon institute of technology that is ifimena for you ifimena ipro um you can connect with him on LinkedIn at Ifimina Ipro. You can connect with him on Twitter at Ifimina IK. And of course, on Instagram at Afe1. <laughs> okay, so can I get some, um, can I get a round of applause for our founder and co founder? These are the people that are be solidly behind analytics, you know, they're the ones that are, that really have the, the, um, they have Africans at heart and are doing all that they can to ensure that 
people are definitely getting the best. Let's keep the round of applause coming in. You know, these people are um really amazing set of people. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. All right. So moving forward, um, our achievement in 2022-2023. So what exactly have we done? We have helped over 500 people transition from the classroom into their first job in tech across the UK, the US, Canada, Europe, and the Middle East. We've helped these people not just get come into the classroom, but they've also like moved from the classroom into their very first job in tech, right? Be it a business analyst, be it a logistics analyst, be it a um data engineer, be it a data scientist, and so on and so forth. So we help we, we have helped over 500 people transition from the classroom into their very first job in tech across the UK, the US, Canada, Europe and the Middle East. Our impact continues here, talking about our impact and features in 2022. We were featured in Business Day, talking about how analytics helps Africans across four continents land tech jobs. Okay, that's from Business Day. From Narrow Metrics, we have um, talking about our Afri um, we had a a data analytics analytics hackathon, right and you know, one million was up for grabs, and it was sponsored by Tenalytics and Mustard Inside and Nara Metrics. Um, reported on that. Okay, so another one is where um Punch, the, the Punch News, you know, Punch featured our featured Tenalytics, the founder and co-founder, right? Talking about how Nigerians need to start making data-driven decisions. How we need to stop. Um, doing things based off of our intuition or based off of past experience, and we actually have to start using the data that we um, um process in in Nigeria. We need to start using it. So that's what this punch um feature is about. Then we have the um we also had a, a data analytics hackathon talking about our five Africans. Um, one one million naira. Okay, so we always like organize this hackathon like often to for people to demonstrate their skills, their data analytics skills, business analytics skills, and so on and so forth. You know, just for people to come come and um do what they love doing and earn money. Okay, so we also have um business day featuring um the data analytics hackathon as well. Then talking about PR fires feature, we have analytics retreat commitment to help Africans get tech jobs in Europe. It's, it was you know, it was basically about us saying, authentic saying that they are not going to relent until they actually see Africans at the four, forefront of tech, technology in different parts of the world, especially Europe, okay? So if you get the um, slides, do well to read through the, the um, feature. Then we have, um, in April, we were able to help 10, 300 women, gets tech scholarships. So Tenalytics gives tech scholarships to over 300 women. That's what that is about. Then this is another feature talking about it. Then around May, we had a data analytics hackathon, but this was basically for our alumni, right? So we had different judges from different work, walks of life come around to, you know, help these people like not where they were wrong or what they were right george basically just to like give feedback and so on so we had people like michelle conway who is the lead who is a lead data scientist in lloyd banking group that's in the uk we've got sadik um, um, akintola as well he, he works with google we've got um sebastian obeta right and we have um olamide jola Osho that, that works at um Goma bank all right, so we had these people come around to be judges for that hackathon. All right. Uh huh. So um, today we are going to be speaking on the two major um tech programs, right? So that's Power Platform Engineering and Financial Analytics. And what we're going to be doing is bringing up. We're not even going to be like speaking too much on it. So no long talk. We just want you, we want you to see the practical aspect of it. Right, so we're going to bring it up students to show you what they have going on in their classes. 
All right. So with me today is our very own Kinsley Andy. He's a senior data associate at Tenalytics and is going to be taking us through the power platform um, engineering aspect. So without any further delay, I'm going to be bringing up Kingsley. Um, hi, Kingsley. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay, I think it's a little bit of a um, problem with your mic. Uh-uh, no, I can't hear anything. Oh, is it just me? Can anybody else hear Kingsley? Okay, I'm just going to stop sharing. No, I can't, I can't, I'm not getting any um, sound. Okay, so while um Kingsley is still trying to fix that, I'm just gonna go ahead with the financial analytics um program, which is the second, which is one of the programs that we ought to be talking about today. So I'm gonna pull up my screen again. Please confirm you can see my screen. Um okay, just going to All right. So confirm you can see my screen, please. Okay, confirm you can see my screen. Confirm you can see my screen. Thank you. Fantastic. So this is um, me talking about the financial analytics program. Now, I get people asking me a lot that I, I don't have any degree in accounting. I don't have, I've never, you know, seen a banking record or whatever different kind of questions about, do I need to have an accounting background to be able to um, take the financial analytics program? My response is always no, 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 no. You don't have to have financial analytics background. You don't have to have to be able to do anything with the financial data to be able to take the financial analytics program. All right, so it's beginner friendly. It's easy to, to, to dive into. All right, so just let's take a look at it together. Okay, so um, this is financial analytics. Um, it's basically about data analytics and investment banking. Financial analytics is a fusion of data analytics and investment banking. Okay, under the financial analytics program, we have problem solving, we have finance, we have Microsoft Excel, and we have Power BI. Okay, so let's take a deep dive into the um, financial analytics program. Now, what I want you to do, I'm going to be reading out a couple of questions and I want you to give me an answer in the chat. I'm going to be reading out a couple of questions and I want you to give me an answer in the chat, okay? Now, do you want to be able to understand the, cor the current financial position of any company? Do you? want to be able to understand the current financial position of any company let's see let's see let's see coming let's see let's see the responses coming okay I'm getting yes 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 of course okay yes that's a lot of yes um more yeses okay 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 now another question do you want to be able to analyze financial statements to provide strategic insights? Do you want to be able to analyze financial statements to provide strategic insights? Okay, let's say the yes is rolling in, all right? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. You know, 
And it's not just about analyzing, you know, you, you can even be analyzing financial statements, not for a company, but for yourself. Because now people are investing. People are investing. If people are trying to create, you know, you know, <laughs> you know this thing that is going on around now. They're talking about trust fund babies and how some of us are just not trust fund babies, but we want to be able to provide trust funds for our own um, offsprings. All right. So analyzing financial statements helps you to be able to see what should I invest in? What should I not invest in? All right. So a lot of people have said they want to be able to analyze financial statements to provide strategic insight. Perfect. Another question. Do you want to develop sound financial planning and forecasting skills? Do you want to develop sound not just any hour, any, of course, anybody can sit and say, okay, tomorrow, something with tomorrow, MTN stocks rise tomorrow. When my bank will do this tomorrow, um, when my bank will do that, anybody can be able to do that. But you want to use data to develop sound financial planning and forecasting skills. You're not just saying it based on something that's happened in the past or something that you just feel like it could happen. You want to be able to do it based on data. And I'm seeing a lot of yeses, so that's perfect. Another question, do you want to improve financial decision-making strategies? Do you want to improve financial decision-making strategies? Not just for companies, but also for yourself. You want to be able to make decisions based on the data that you're looking at. All right. Another question. Do you want to be able to build financial models? Last time I checked, I have a friend that does. If she, she build one financial model for you, she's going to charge you nothing less than 200. I'm talking about, K. Okay, if you're in Naira, uh, if you're in Nigeria. Right. So do you want to be able to build financial models? And lastly, do you want to be able to perform company valuation? Do you want to be able to perform company valuation? All right. So these are the things that you're going to be able to do in the financial um, analytics class. This and so much more are things that you will actually be able to do in the financial analytics class. All right. So let's take a look at um why financial analytics so why exactly are we even talking about um financial analytics financial data will be one of the greatest differentiator in in the next two to three years we're talking about 2015 max all right so it's going to be one of the um, greatest differentiators in the next two to three years people are going to be looking um, looking towards financial analysts to be able to make their financial decisions. People are going to be looking for investment analysts to be able to make their own decisions. And not just people, companies, um, talking about companies like Dangote, like oil, oil and gas companies, and so on and so forth. A lot of companies out there are going to be looking to financial analysts and investment analysts to make their decisions, their financial decisions. All right, and that's going to be happening in the next two to three years. So the time to get into it is actually now. The best time to start was yesterday. The another best time to start is today. Tomorrow, I'm not very certain. All right, so financial data will be one of the greatest differentiator in the next two to three years. Whoever unlocks the realms of financial data analytics and uses it will strategically win. Okay, so whoever is able to unlock is like unlocking unlocking a box of treasure. You find what you find in it. You find gold. You find silver. You find diamond. Honestly, that's a win. It does not matter where you find it. If you have to go under the ocean to find it, it does not matter. It's a win. Okay, so whoever unlocks the realms of financial data analytics and uses it, not just unlocking it, but can use it. There's a difference between unlocking something and actually getting to use it, actually knowing how to use it. Okay, so whoever unlocks this will strategically win in life. 
and everything else in between. Okay, so accurate financial analysis and planning is a fundamental co component of growth. It is a fundamental um, component of growth, business strategy, and overall success. You need to, companies need to be able to plan their finance, finances. Companies need to be able to plan their finances. And they, they, most companies do not, they can't just put anybody there. They need somebody that has expertise, that has gone through the training, that can do it. That's kind of person that they need. They need to be able to plan their finances, need to be able to strategically plan in a way that it brings in more revenue with less expenses, all right? So accurate financial planning and analysis is a fundamental component of growth business strategy and overall success a company that can plan their finances is a company that will grow so it means that they are watching step by step how they are you know doing their expenses and this is one thing this is one major work of a financial analyst not just anybody but a financial analyst okay so a company that can plan their finances is the company that is looking to to grow a company that is looking to achieve success overall the analysis financial statement analysis course uses engaging and interactive learning methods to explain how financial measures of corporate performance are calculated and their importance in corporate growth yeah, i was saying earlier that we do not you know dilly dally in um demo data or mock data or dummy data you're going to be using actual um interactive learning methods to explain how financial measures measures of corporate performance are calculated you're going to be able to calculate financial measures of different of, of corporate um organizations and also explain the importance of these measures that you've calculated okay this course or um examines all aspects of financial statement analysis and addresses all key areas from both a theoretical and practical perspective. The courses are hundred percent practical, right? So you are coming to class to do practical upon practical upon practical. There were times in in school when we're just in a lot of theory i know i studied a course i supposed to be very very practical but at the end at the end of the day if you take me to a field i cannot do anything i won't be able to do anything basically because it was just theory upon theory upon theory but what we do at analytics is to give you practical hands on um case studies life case studies and so on and so forth to ensure that you actually know how to tackle these problems in real life all right so the course examines all aspects of financial statement analysis and addresses all key areas from both a theoretical and um, theoretical perspective and practical perspective okay so it's 100 percent hands on with numerous practical examples and out of these examples we're going to bring in our students now to show you some of the examples that we've actually practiced Okay, so um, 100% practical with practical examples, real life illustrations, creative facilitators, okay? They ensure that the course is delivered in a manner that suits individuals. So like I said earlier at the beginning, you don't necessarily have to have a, a an accounting background or an investment background or something. It is delivered in a way that D depending or regardless of your financial knowledge you are able to grab and understand everything that is being taught okay so with our focus on experiential learning participants on this program are guaranteed the ability to directly apply the techniques learned during the program like i said completely hands-on it's like i'm sorry can you guys hear me Please drop a thumbs up for me in the chat if you can hear me. All right, fantastic. So I'm um, Priscilla, could you please attend to Galaxy X9? All right, so with our focus on experiential learning, participants on this program are guaranteed the ability to 
directly apply the techniques learned during the program. 100% hands on, 100% practical. You are practicing, you are learning at the same time. You're not just learning, you're not just coming to class to, to just sit through and listen to one person talk all through, right? You're coming to learn and practice as well. Okay, so I'm talking too much. Let me just bring up people that will actually show you the practical side of these things. So, um, Priscilla, if you can hear me, do we have our, our students here? Yes, Damilola, we do have our students here. Good evening. Right, so let's bring them up. They um, are co-hosts. Okay, hi, Balkis. Can you hear me? Okay. Hi, Damilola. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Good evening. How are you doing? Thank you for uh, thank you so much for taking time to join us. All right. Um, That's you fine. Thank you for having me. All right. Do you want to turn on your camera so I can spotlight you? Okay. One moment. Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um. Awesome. So Balkis is one of our students. Um, Balkis, do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us where you're joining from. Um, program you're currently taking. Of course, they all know, but let's just make it more official. <laughs> <laughs> so let's um, have it. Balkis. Hi everyone. My name is Balkis. I'm joining from Abuja, Nigeria. I'm currently taking the course on Power Platform Developer from Ten Analytics. Um not finance power platform i think that was supposed to come after um the guy that was supposed to present earlier oh okay oh yes, okay yes. yeah okay so it's power platform you're from oh i'm trying to call someone from yes, financial yes. analysis that's fine that's fine I, that's i'm going to pull you off like real soon okay that's fine that's fine thank you very much um priscilla somebody from financial analytics you know yeah we have our yeah. staff and we have Hello. a modeling. Hi, your modeling. Good evening. Oh, okay. Hi, your modeling. Do you want to turn on your camera so I can spotlight to you? Okay. All right. You see me? Uh, yes, I can see you. I'm going to. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, everybody. How you all doing? Very good. <laughs> so my name is Modeli Kolkri. Um, I'm a student um, at the financial analysis class. I joined the April cohort. Okay, so and we've gone, you know, we've done so many, <laughs> so many, um, you know, we've used some, some tools, which is like um, the, the Power BI. So a brief intro. Okay, um, I actually saw analytics on, you know, was it Instagram or something? And well, I thought to myself, okay, let me just join. I called on my mentor and asked him if I could join. They were like, no, don't join. Like, these people, <laughs> they'll just take your money. <laughs> but I actually obeyed my instinct. I woke up one morning and I'm like, let me just do it because I take you know, um, exams in other institutions. And most of the institutions always theory, theory, you have to go and start reading on your own. It's quite, you know, stressful. So I decided to, you know, join analytics. And the first day that I joined analytics, they taught me as if I didn't know anything. I was wondering, wow, do institutions like this really exist? Seriously, I've always thought I, I know about Excel because even back in the office, I teach people Excel, but Excel class, they taught me some stuff and I'm like, really? <laughs> Does it exist? So as analytics, they teach you, they break it down, you know, to your own understanding. And of course, they are watch me videos that you can watch. You can go back to it and, you know, keep watching over and over. Even up to now, I'm still going back, you know, watching over and over again. So let me just delve into it. Can I share my screen? Yes, definitely. Please go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing Power BI. So um, as a financial analyst, I've never done Power BI before, okay? And it's a data tool. So data scientists, they know more about Power BI. So but a financial analyst, I'm 
I'm just strategizing and you know analyzing data, I'm analyzing figures. So, but at analytics, they taught us about um, um, Power BI. And believe you me, at the beginning of the Power BI, I felt, ah, well, let me be able to do this. Can I do this? But they broke it down in a way that it is so easy to understand. Um, so this is my like, this is my dashboard, and it is called a Power BI dashboard. And this dashboard is actually actually broke down HR attrition as a number of times people are leaving an organization. I'm going to stop this. I want to share something else. So imagine, can you see my? Can you see the screen? Like an Excel. No, not yet, not yet. I can just see. Okay. Yeah. Just a minute. Okay, sorry, I was supposed to click here. Um, just a minute. Okay. All right. Can you see this now? Yeah, it's coming up. Okay. Is it paused? Okay, can you see? Oh, let me let me do it all over again. I'm trying to share. Not popping up. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's taking a moment. Okay, maybe the next one. I was trying to share the Excel sheet that shows us the data set. Data set had 1,000 plus um, information of staff in a particular company. Okay, just a minute. Let me go back to it. Okay, is this, is this shared now? We can see it now. Okay, so this, this is an Excel, okay? It has the data of so many staff at a particular company. Imagine having all this sent to you. And you're wondering, how am I supposed to, I'm scrolling down, so many information sent to you. And you're wondering, where would I start from? How would I explain to the directors of this company how they are doing, how um, the number of people who are leaving the group the group that has the highest number of um, um, staff turnover, it's too large. Now, this was the data set that was sent to us. And of course, we had to analyze and turn it into a dashboard using Power BI. That was what I sent to you the other time. So let me go back to the Power BI screen. So you can remember that, that data set now, okay? It brought out this. So in a summary for that, large number of data sets. Imagine interpreting in just one dashboard. I decided to pick this color for my dashboard. You can pick any form of colors that you want. If you're the type that likes to you know, showcase color, but we advise you not to, to you know, make use too many colors. So this dashboard interprets, actually interprets what was in that, um, what do you call it, micro, um, um, Excel data set. With this, if you can see my arrow, they had a total number of 1,485 employees. Out of these, 243 have left. Why? Why are they leaving? Companies want to know, because if you don't know why your staff are leaving, especially if they are in the sales department, they will lose customers. The customers will feel, okay, there's something in that company and they're not doing well. Well, um, that's why staff are not uh, actually leaving. And even this, this staff who are leaving, they might um, blacklist you or about, uh, bad mouth you to your customers. So as a, an organization, you need to understand what is going on. So we broke it down for that to say that we realize that majority of those that left the company, they actually studied life science. Some of them medical, marketing. So we need to understand, okay, okay, they studied this, they did that. Yeah, what they study does not align with our company or something. Then we went further to find out in their income group. We realized that it's those that were any lower are the ones leaving. Okay, so maybe we are not um, competitive enough. Maybe our competitors are paying better for that same grade. So we need to improve on that. At the same time, the age brackets, of those who have left. If you can see it, 
the young adults between the ages 26 to 35 are the ones that are that living more. Is it that they are the Gen Zs? <laughs> you understand? And they believe you need to bring in AIs. Maybe our system is not, is not, is not making things easy for them. You know the Gen Zs want life so easy. Is it that um, because we work, work more um, on site, we have to go to the physical office and they want to, you know, work remotely. Can we be flexible about it? Because we can't lose them. The Gen Zs, they are very intelligent. We need their brain. We need their skills. But if the Gen Zs are leaving, who are those going to be giving us more ideas to build our company? That is what the um, dashboard brought up, uh, was, was actually brought about. At the same time, the job roles. We realize that the, the people in the sales department are leaving. That is an issue. That's a major issue. People in the sales department are living more than you know those in the health, um, those in the human resources, those in the research. That means our market, our sales, our our the sales of our products will be going down. Our revenue will be going down. The billings will be going down. So that is what the dashboard was able to interpret. But with this single dashboard, you can see every single thing that, that your your data sets has brought you up. Let me. I just want to share another. Oh, I'm not sure if I opened it. Okay, just a minute. I want to share another data set. Just a minute, please. So that you can see. Oh, it's not coming up. I'm not sure why. So that's, that's what the Power BI, can you still hear me? Yes, yes, loud and clear. Can you hear me? Yes, Omodili, we can hear you. Okay, you're, you're muted. So that's that's what the Power BI actually brought in. I'm trying to show you another Power BI, but I can't seem to find it anymore, but it's fine. So that's what the Power BI actually brought in for us. Okay, so you are in good hands to join us. We'll be glad to have you at Tenalytics. I, I, was, I was in doubt as well, but in fact, it is it is breathtaking. It is an institution that teaches you different from the way you've known. Then apart from our normal financial analytics um, classes, we have the mentorship class. For the very first time, I knew about ATS, that's the application tracking system. Majority don't know. People still think, people still think, or majority still think that um, humans are the ones sorting CVs hmm. in this AI system. It's an application tracking system that is sorting CVs. You'll be wondering, you have all the, you're chartered, you have MBA, you have a PhD, but you're not getting jobs. Please join Analytics so that they can help you arrange your CV in a way that you are marketable. You might even have masters and everything. I'd be surprised that you'll be getting jobs practically every week. Far better than those who have all these qualifications and certifications. Do you understand? So that is it. You are in good hands. <laughs> Dami. <laughs> oh, Madele, thank you so much. I love your energy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. I just want to iterate, reiterate that. Um, when did you join the analytics? April. April. That was um last week in April. April ending. Yes. April ending. And did you have prior knowledge um to before joining tonight? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? As if I, not even as soon as I finish, we are finishing already. Mm -hmm. I am going to be the guru in Power BI. Hmm. LinkedIn, <laughs> LinkedIn, they will hear it. They will just. I posted my dashboard, three of my dashboard on my LinkedIn, and I've been getting comments to say, hey, "Did you do this? Did you do that?" But the very first time, you know, you know, you post your CVs on LinkedIn, but most people don't make comments like that. You get, but um, like when I posted my Power BI dashboard, they're like, really? Somebody who buzzed and I didn't even know. I, I don't even know him, but he buzzed and said, I like this. This is, you know, can you interpret? I'm like, yes, I can. So I'm going to be focusing on Power BI and even my financial models. Okay. Financial um, models, which, which, will, which will give me, which will help me to analyze five year, you know, earnings or five year. Um, uh, profitability of a company to know if the company is viable. Mm -hmm. You understand? The, mm -hmm. the, the financial model is 
also a, a powerful tool that okay. each and every financial analyst should know about. Sorry, okay. I don't bring up that now, but let me just explain it to you. It's, it's more like your, your financial statement, okay? Your, your annual report, but not exactly like your annual report. Annual report is actually actual, but you are actually projecting for a company to say in the next five years, if you do this, you will make profits. If you don't do this, you might, you might go into loss. So people, will, as you know, people, companies will ask you, okay, should I go into this business? Or I already have my business. Should I continue with this same strategy I've been doing to, you know, to grow my business? So as a financial analyst, drawing of your financial model, you can tell them, okay, in year one or year two, you can't, you know, opt in or, or you can you can increase your your goods, you can increase the the production, or you can increase the services you are giving. Okay. But at the same time, you have to ensure that you are putting a particular cost. Because you know most companies, when they start a business, you know, they just incur costs, whether it's relevant or irrelevant. And before you know it, after one year, the company has closed down. So that's why the financial analyst, you can analyze. And you have to be a strategist, a stra a strategist at, the, at the same time. You understand? So the financial model will break it down. It will also show you your profitability ratio, if you're going to be making profit, if you're going to be making loss. And especially when we have a new government now, okay? Okay. And okay. it brought in so many policies. The financial model will also bring in those policies into the model to say, okay, They've cut in. They've cut. They've increased the 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 the, 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 um, the cost of petrol pump price. Do we cut? How do we cut cost? Okay. Uh, should we move people from the on-site working to hybrid working or or to remote working? So you do that for the next five years. So it's financial planning. Five years financial planning. In fact, I am so happy and blessed. That I joined Ten and Little. And guess what? My um, mentor that said, Don't join. They will just chop your money. He said he's joining. <laughs> because it's the same thing. I'm calling him up to say, Sir, did you see my LinkedIn? I'm like, hey, really, I'm impressed. I am really. So you mean these people taught you that? I'm like, Yes. And I'm, you know, even as a company, I'm drawing up dashboard and my MD is like, Oh, really? Do you do all this? <laughs> I'm like, Yes, sir. <laughs> So even in my meetings, with a single dashboard, I am explaining what the company is doing. And, you know, the way Power BI is, you can, your slicer, you can put your slicer and it's increasing and it's changing. I'm like, oh, was that magic? <laughs> but I'm not a magician in the office. <laughs> and so I'm so happy. So the, the best time to join is now, not when the fee will not become 10 million naira. Uh, because everybody is starting out for us for financial analysts so that's it thank that you me? so much i i totally enjoyed your session okay i wanted to ask are you able to present any of your financial models that you're currently maybe working on or one that you have okay if, if i can show you right yes yes okay so people right. see what it looks like and um just a minute Just a minute. Okay. Almost there. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? It's coming up. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see it. I can see it now. Okay, so this was this is the financial model that we actually built at um, you know Tenalytics, and it's a five-year financial model on the production of shoes, sneakers, boots, okay? So you can see it's an Excel, okay? But it is a tool. It's a financial model tool. And it has, you can see my cursor, my pointer. That's 
different sheets. This is the cover page, the content of the financial model, which breaks it down to the dashboard, financial statement, valuation, assumptions. Here is the dashboard. The dashboard is just like a BI dashboard as well. That says, you know, what the company's performance would be in the next five years. The average revenue they will make in the next five years. But for over five years, the average profit, the average profit after tax, then the performance in um, the year. So we had the year 2024 to 2028. So we had to show, we had to, um, you know, show to the directors of this manufacturing company what their performance would be year by year. Here you will see that in the blue, the blue um, part is for revenue. The pink, the deep pink is for cost of sales. Then the gross profit is green. So you can see here in 2024, the revenue, we are projected that the revenue will be far more than the cost of sale, which is good. But you, you can't compare it to the gross profit. And the gross profit is also higher than the cost of sale as well. So they, they, are, they are performing so well. In 2027, we see that the revenue increased far more than 2024. So there's something they brought in by producing more, more sneakers, you know, in that period. And we are trying as much as possible to reduce our cost in that year. So that's why in 2027 and 2028, the performance of the company grew higher. And of course, you know, we have the depreciation, you have to depreciate your, your non-current assets, the profitability ratio, then of course you have the the year the slicer, okay. Then if you go to the different sheets, and this other sheet shows sorry, this other sheet shows the breakdown of the financial statement. So just like a normal financial statement, you know. But fear not if you if you've never been if if, if you don't have any knowledge in accounting, fear not. At analytics will break it down to you one by one. Okay, you know your revenue, your sales. Everybody knows sales. You are selling. You are selling anything. Okay, that's the revenue. The cost of sales. What do you? What are you going to incur that relates to that sales? That's the cost cost of sales. That's what we call it cost of sales. And of course, the, the gross profit. That's the actual profit you are making from your actual, you know, actual business. Okay, so if you are selling um, shoes, you have sales. At the same time, they're supposed to be producing shoes, you know, those raw materials, the labor, the direct labor, those are the cost of sales. Then the gross profits will show the actual profit you're making from the direct so dealings of that company. So of course, it's breaking it down into different years. Then you have the valuation, which is showing, you know, your discounted cash flow model, but don't worry, don't fear. I know some of you are thinking, hey, I'm not an I'm not accountant, so what's all this? <laughs> The analytics they will break it down for you. Then the assumptions, you know, is a financial model. Okay. So we are trying to tell the manufacturing company to say, this is what you should do for the next five years. So it's an assumption. This is what you should do. And that's, that's projection. This is what you should do for the next five years that will, that will make you have profit, that will make you perform well in your business for the next five years. So you can see here, the company is producing boots, they are producing sneakers, they are producing sandals. So we are saying that, okay, for the year 2024, let's produce like 10 units, you know, over the years like that. Then you have your workings, just like normal accountants, we have workings. I know auditors will always have workings, okay? They, we call it working paper. Now the working is what we show, okay, yeah, um, the boots, this is the revenue. How many boots are we going to be producing per month, per year? You understand? Multiply by the number of the selling price. Okay, that's what would give you the, for you know the value of the revenue for boots, sneakers over the years. Fear not, don't worry. Ten analytics, Nene is good at it. Eh? My my tutor is called. Her name is called Nene. <laughs> So she will break it down. And you have watched me videos. If you don't get, you know, the, the beauty about analytics is that they will send you a watch me video ahead of the class. So it's easy for you to go through your watch me videos, go through them, watch them, you know, continuously between um, Sunday and the next class, which is going to be on Saturday. And, and during the, the actual class, which is always on Saturday, they will now, you know, 
teach you all over again. Then you can be able to see, okay, I couldn't get this part. You ask your tutor, I couldn't get this part. Then they can explain to you further. Then the capex, that's, you know, this thing keeps coming up, which shows your non-current assets, okay? Your, cap, your, your, your equipment, what you want to use to, you know, to ensure that you have a seamless production, okay? So you have your manufacturing equipment, you have your um, furniture and fitness. Of course, in, a, in an office, you have furniture and fittings, you have office equipment, you have the actual equipment, the manufacturing equipment that you're going to use to produce, you know, those um, uh, materials. So then you have your data set. The data set here, we just, you know, summarize, we summarize the whole, dashboard before you turn it into the power bi dashboard itself okay then at analysis so they will teach you the pivot table a pivot table is also the summary of the financial statements and everything that you need okay so you, you, you don't have any issues so if you, here you can see this is the pivot table here you can see in 2024 our revenue is 195 million the cost of sales is this the gross profit is this okay Pivot table two is another mid, is another lovely tool and it's easy. When you hear it's pivot, you don't know how to do it. In fact, I've been doing Excel. I never used pivot table before. It's 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 funny. <laughs> I've never used it before. So, but at analytics, they taught me how to use pivot table. So that's it. So your your model, I, I, I tell Nene that our financial model is more like an accounting software. Okay. That you would it has link links what um your sales your cars and everything and it brings you to your dashboard so fear not so I chose um actually chose the green color so you know you can choose your color but <laughs> don't use multi colors that would blind your directors so <laughs> use colors use colors that you know that are very that fancy okay so that's it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, you're welcome. Thank I'm you so for excited coming. I'm happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, Dani also taught us, you know, so many. <laughs> we have our own class too, and she's good at it. Thank you so much. Thank you for the Excel class. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you so much. So some people have questions for you in the chat. Please do also okay. hang around so that we can take um their questions. But okay. thank you so much for coming, Omodili. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, so that is Omodele. She joined Tenalytics in April and you can see the amazing stuff she's doing already. So like she said, yesterday was was um, the time to join. Today is another good day to, to get started. So thank you very much for coming. All right, so um, I have ECN or I'm not sure that's pronunciation, but ECN um if you can hear me please um maybe use the recent icon so i can call you and let me mute me okay um if isian cannot hear me right now i'm going to call um as as time will I don't know if it is a Samuel or a Samuel. So, but Samuel, yeah. Sorry, it's uh, I've been before a Samuel. It's just uh, oh, of my name and that of my okay. duly noted. How are you doing? Thank you for coming. Good afternoon. Sorry if I'm not, my screen is here and you guys are here. <laughs> Everyone, my name is uh, Abim Fuluwa Motola Samuel. Uh, I'm currently working at um, Waste Management here in Canada. It's a branch office from um, United States. I joined alum and um, I am an alumni of um, Ten Analytics. I just finished. Uh, I joined uh, Ten Analytics March. Yes, March. And uh, I got to know about Ten Analytics through one of the instructors, who is my very good friend. And uh, I, I joined. She was like, "Just join." And then I said, "Okay, fine, no problem." 
So I then saw that um, they're doing this um, International Women's Day promo. So I decided to, you know, use that one. I decided to take the chance because hmm, it was at least the the discount was was affordable for me. So that was what I used. And um, so far, so good. It's been good. I really, really enjoyed my time, you know, learning from 10 analytics because uh, part of the things I learned, I used it, to, I used it to get my current job here. So uh, I, I, and I'm, I'm very, very grateful for that. I am very, very grateful for that. I uh, most especially what I love most is my um, financial modeling, and that's what I do. Uh, Power BI, I, I use Power BI as well, and I do a lot of Excel sheet, Excel work, and all of that. And um, it's really, really been helpful. Uh, maybe I'll just share my certificate first. <laughs> So that you guys can see and you know be intrigued, intrigued by it. Just hold on, let me pull out my certificates. Uh, okay. Is everyone seeing my screen? Wow, yes, you can now. Nice. So this is this nice. is my certificate. And um, thank you. And uh, it's really a thing of joy. You know, I can boast that yes, I can do some, I can at least work on financial modeling, most especially, because uh, that is my area of expertise. And um, also um, problem solving, um, Power BI as well, because I mostly use that in my current job here. Uh, I, my background is accounting. I kind of um, have an insight. I thought I had an insight with all this um, Excel and stuff like that until my husband said, just go and try it. That you think you know Excel, but then, then tell, uh, I'll tell you that you don't know Excel. And you know, I said, okay, let me just give it a try. And uh, there are some things that I didn't know and I am so happy and grateful for that. I was able to learn that here. Uh, I most of the things I was planning on saying, um, the other lady has said something. So I will just I'm just going to pull out my financial model. So this is um, a friend of mine who has um, a perfume. She's 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 selling perfumes and all. So I reached out to her. I told her, oh. I wanted to use your, you know, your business to, you know, to play around and she was okay, fine. And uh, this were the assumptions, you know, we both derived in, uh, in the course of her business. So, and uh, we, you know, I used what I learned in class to derive all of this. And in fact, I'm also kind of using this as well as a template at my current job as well. So. <laughs> It's really, really helpful. And uh, this is my financial statement. Uh, one thing I'll say is if you don't understand, there are always people who are ready. I did not know that they will have my time. And they will also, you know, be pressurizing me. I will just wake up one morning, I've seen like three messages. I'm like, what's going on? So uh, it's really, really... Um, they are really, really helpful getting analytics facilitators. And uh, I, all my life, even when I was writing my account, my account have never balanced. It have never balanced. But, <laughs> but upon, you know, doing all of this, and I really, I understood, you know, some things that really needed to be done. You know, then it was just more of like the first lady said, theories, no, not practical. I didn't understand the in-depth of why we were doing this. But when I started, I understood the reason why, you know, I was doing this. And uh, let me share this other one here. I don't know if everyone can see. It's quite a little bit rough, but this year it's a real life data from, um, from World Bank. Um, 
So it's between is the world as a world no, real life data from the World Bank. Um, this is um, it happened. Um, this data set is accumulation of um, how will I put it um, with um, grants, yes, grants and commissions that um, the World Bank was able to you know give out to countries who were battling you know with the whole covid and all you know countries who are still trying to develop so the data set was so long so i was so much so i just decided to just focus on african countries and uh, i was able to um this my dashboard so i was able to you know get in the net flows and the commitments that they made to countries who um who were suffering from um, the whole pandemic stuff. So, you know, you know, when our, our like our governments, Nigerians, now they want our politicians, they want to borrow money and all of that. So this IBRA and IDA, International um, Development um, Advisory or something. So, and um, IBRA, this one here, what they do is they sit down together, you know, to, um, to know, you know, uh, to come together and, give out resources you know to help countries who are battling with um, one thing or the other so this here is my whole dashboard that has to do with commitment that has to do with um borrowings you know as people when you borrow you, you pay so if you don't pay you know you have penalties and all of that so this is this is just uh a sketch of you know a statistics rather of how um the World Bank operates with uh, with countries who are in need or who want to loan money. And overall, I'll just say, like the other lady has said, 10 analytics, they were really, really, you know, they are pushers. I, I think that's the word. They are pushers. Yes, that's the word. They will push you. And in as much as I'm here in Canada and the work is um the instructor probably is in Nigeria and you know time time difference they'll still you know find a way of letting you know okay go and do this go and do this and um they just bring out the best my when I was doing my interview for my current job they said do you have any questions I was like I don't have questions but let me just show you something I asked questions but I was like let me just you know show you something I showed them um, one of my dashboards, um, my first dashboard, Excel. And then she was like, oh, I don't think I can do this. And I told her, if you put me on your team, don't worry, I would I would I would I would do it for you. And lo and behold, I work with financial analysts, I work with the accounts payables, I work with um billions, I work, you understand, I just and it's really, really been helpful so far. So there, I think uh, there are also measures if you if you're thinking that oh they are you know their money is expensive it's not expensive oh, it's not expensive be like me if you say your money is mean, expensive when they have discounts but the main cocoa is, the main thing is that you're able to come out where you you're able to you know push yourself you're able to understand I had background in accounting but. I graduated like six years ago, but if you ask me anything, I'll be like, what's going on? I don't know anything, but then analytics really, you know, brought back my memories back. And I was able to, to, to you know, work, uh, work right now. I, I can confidently, you know, be like my one of my instructor, Nene, to, you know, tell her that I can do financial modeling. So, so you know, things like that. And it's really, really helpful. So, even if you don't have an idea of what you're of um, why you are taking the course, you should. They, are, they also have um, people who advise you to you know bring tell, to advise you to okay you can do this one you can do that one, and now as we all know most here in Canada most students that are coming in now they are learning um they are learning uh business analytics financial technology, everything. In fact, before you even get admission here in those kind of um, courses, you have to like, most of our places last year, because everybody wants to, they want to learn these things. So when, why, you know, waiting when you, like why wasting time when you know that you can easily get it in just um, 
three months then you will not have to wait until you know they put admission for you and all of that it's really really helpful and uh all i have to say is if you put your mind to it and they will push you they will, they, there's no how no how they will keep pushing you and uh you should always you should accept the fate that yes you pay for it because it's money and then you will see that everything is um everything is okay that's all i have to say sorry I have to thank you that was really fantastic i absolutely enjoyed that thank you so much for coming thank you for coming to present and your financial model absolutely nice thank all you. right so um we look forward to having you around some more um thank you so much for coming yes thank you okay so i have um afsa afsa from financial analytics hello 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 okay. good evening you good evening afsa okay hello I hope you guys can see me clearly. Yes, we can. <laughs> Thank you for coming. So, good evening, everyone. My name is Afsat, and I'm from currently in Lagos. So, I hope it's evening to the majority of us. All right. So, I am um, currently, I joined in May, towards May ending. And yes, it's about two months now. May. And it was yes, May ending about, I think around May 20 something. That was when we started our classes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, prior to now, I've known analytics for about three years or so. So I received every mail in my inbox. But then due to financial reasons, financial constraints and all of that, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but then I always saw the messages and all of that. And I've attended some of the master class. It was a cycle within two hours, so many information. I'm like, oh, this is impressive. And then finally, I think something actually happened. I can't really remember what happened, but then that day I was on Instagram trying to make up my mind. And then I remember that I saw, I got a mail from Penalty and it's closing day. And I'm like, okay, I think you should just do it. And so I started to register for it because for me it's about finally deciding if I want to upskill in financial analysis. Something I've always wanted to learn, why start, I stop, why start, I stop. And to be very honest, I am glad that I registered for it. It has been interesting from the one. I love the, the people, especially very easy to relate to it. And then the fact that there are recorded videos and then live classes, it makes it so easy for you to understand what you're being taught. And despite the fact that I feel like, okay, I have basic knowledge of, not basic, I still feel like I have intermediate knowledge of Excel, accounting. I'm actually, I have an accounting background. And I've done about maybe one hour Power BI classes before, and I thought I, I understood it <laughs> till I started this course and realized that, oh, there's so much to it. And the first for me was um, doing Excel. When I finally, for the first time, I finally understood how to do the concept behind this uh, absolute referencing and the rest. So if I used to think I understand it, so I was maybe probably just scribing the formula and just knowing that was, but now I actually understood those. So I understand the formula. I can see an Excel giving me pop-up, okay, the array, this, that one, and I can navigate to where to. So even if it's a new formula, I can have an idea of what, how to go about using that formula. And because of the way they explain it, because of the way the videos are, it's so easy for you to understand what you're doing, but how for you to catch up. So what I actually intend to do is just briefly show you my first dashboard. So yes, my first dashboard is going to come up now. Let me know if you can see it. Yes, we can see your screen. So this is actually my first dashboard and we created this on X using Excel. This is the first time I am creating a dashboard on Excel. I used Excel to create graphs, uh, maybe one or two that I just want to use to understand information. But for the first time, I have a dashboard. I have a series of graphs joined together, communicating something to me. And the whole process of building it was very, very, it was smooth. We had a 
tutors to guide us through it, show us how to do it. There are instances where I had challenge and then I reached out to them and they, we went over it. In fact, at times we delay the um, the class, live class, so that to ensure that everybody's questions have been answered and all of that. And then I can always go back to my videos to go and watch it and pick it up from there. So this is actually my first dashboard and it's for a company. I decided to name it after myself. <laughs> so this is not the actual name. So I decided to, I have to take ownership of, of my work. It's my work, my effort. So this is for a company that sells a superstore and they want to know their sales performance. So all we were given was raw data, raw data like this. So it's difficult for you to make meaning out of raw data like this. For most organizations, it's data like this you can have access to. They pull data from you from the database and then give you, and they want you to make meaning out of it. And then it's this same data that became this dashboard that you're seeing. So now it's easy for you to say, oh, okay, we made total revenue of 891,000. But from the data set that was provided, it is hard for you to Maybe you might see the total revenue. Yes, you can just do some also some and it's going to give you the total. But then breaking it down to require you going through a lot of process. But with this dashboard, you can have an overview of sales by location. You can see the company has um, location across branches, across Nigeria, Lagos, Enugu, Abuja. You can tell which is performing just at a glance. You can tell which is performing. You can interact with the dashboard. For instance, now, if I should click on my slicer any, any good, the figures changed. And now I can see what happened in any in this branch in any I can tell how much revenue they made, how much quantity they sold, and all of that. I can relate more with information through the use of this data set. And to be honest, the process of making this was, it was fun. I totally enjoyed it. I love the fact that I could play with colors. I love my I'm so in love with my dashboard. But then the process of making it was something that they put us through. We had to start by first creating table. So we had to put that data set into table. So that way it is additional information to be easy for it to flow into your dashboard, your chat. So we created tables. We put inputted the data set into a table. We removed duplicates. We went through all of the information to remove. Um, there are times whereby you extract information and then inside the text, you'll be seeing commas, you'll be seeing full stop. You'll be seeing so many. Um, the data set is usually not clean. And then we had to clean it using some simple and magical Excel formulas that you come to learn once you join. So you think you have an hang of Excel to you come and start using clean function, trim function. They're quite easy to learn, easy to understand, easy to play with. But I, I work, I'm a worker, I use Excel every day I work, but not for once have I used Excel, trim function in Excel, clean function in Excel. So there are new functions that, I got to learn and they're very easy to use. VLOOKUP is now like a piece of cake to me. VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, you use them and you get used to it, you become familiar with it. And then pivot table, most times when, I remember going for some interviews before and then they first they want to ask me, can you use Excel? You say yes, okay, can you create a pivot table? And deep down, me and the interviewer know, I cannot create a pivot table. But now that that down in history now, see pivot tables here, yeah. see me small, big, like so many things. I'm renaming my pivot table. I'm playing with my pivot table. It's from the pivot table I created chats. And then from the chats, we transferred it into the dashboard. And this is what you're seeing now. A data set, a from data sets, we have a dashboard that you can relate with. So it's easier for me to maybe walk up to my boss and like, okay, I've meaningful conversations using this dashboard rather than using the data set to communicate the company's performance. So, so far it has been interesting. We are currently building financial model. I thought building financial model was like French or Chinese, but then it's easier now, it's easier now. I, I can relate it to that finance background, I can relate it, but aside that uh, from, we started from the scratch, the concepts of, behind why you should do this, why you should do that. Because the videos are very explanatory. 
they give you all of the basic things to understand about accounts understand how you arrive at these figures how to make meaningful interpretations of those figures and like so the financial modeling classes have been going smoothly i can't wait for us to actually do them because currently i'm already booking some of my friends businesses now I'm already telling them i'll create models for them <laughs> and it seems left to me they should just i should i should finish so i can start like so i can start doing things creating models i just can't wait to start creating complete models so i am excited about it i in fact i'm already thinking about maybe learning this again learning that to add to it so that i can be well grounded in this financial model so i really hope you join i really really hope you join you you ought to it's, it's worth it honestly it's worth it the amount is worth it Get, it's what it the guidance you learn how to create your own cv they're going to be classes where you get to build your cv yourself mock interviews as if you're afraid of interviews you get to practice and all of that so if i right now i have a linkedin optimization class that i'm going to be joining in and if you like i can't afford to leave my class so i just can't <laughs> leave you guys at this point Thank you so much, Asa. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for sharing. Really appreciate you for coming. All right. All right. So when did you say you started again? May, May, May. May ending, yes. May. Okay, fantastic. Yes. So thank you for coming. We hope to see you around as well. Thank you very much. Can't wait to see you guys. <laughs> you too. Bye. All right. Um, lastly, for financial analytics, we have ECN. Um, ECN I. Okay. Yeah, I see you here. Um, are you able to turn on your camera so I can spotlight you? Okay, hello, Isien. Or maybe I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Okay, so um, while we're waiting for Isien to um join us, I'm just going to bring up Kingsley for with me, Kingsley Power for Power Platform Engineering to take us through the entire um to take us through Power Platform Engineering and what it's all about. So. Kingsley, if you can hear me, hi. Um, I'm just gonna spotlight to you. Okay. okay. Yeah, hi everyone. Hi, Tammy. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Wherever you're joining from. Wow, oh, it's been really an amazing, amazing session. Wow, financial analytics. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like I to share my screen, right? It's going to be very, very brief, all right? Very, very, very brief. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, let me start by asking. I would want to even go to the chat even while I ask. So, let me start by asking. Yeah. So, when you wanted to join, tech, yeah, I'm sure we are here because um, we all, yeah, because we are interested in joining tech, right? So, yeah, when you wanted to join tech, um, I want to be really sure, right? Because this same thing happened to me, too, right? Um, at first, when I wanted to join tech, I, 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 I felt tech is just all about uh, being a developer. Yeah, just all about being a software developer. Um, yeah, writing series of programs to build software, to build application, or probably for um, yeah, being a, being a website designer. Okay, if it's if if that's the same thing that actually happened to you, right? You can just type yes on the group chat. If when you wanted to join here yeah, on the chat, you can just type yes. At first, when you wanted to yeah, venture into tech, before you start hearing about data and all of that, it doesn't say okay. Yeah, I'm saying yes already. Yeah. Because the same thing happened to me, right? I felt it was just all about uh, it was just all about uh, yeah building software and all of that 
there are I'm not the, I'm not this kind of person that I'm really good in writing quotes. Yeah, I don't like writing quotes, but I want to be a tech pro. Right, I want to be a tech pro. I don't like writing long, long quotes. So, so I'm going to show you something tonight. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm going to show you. Um, a, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Oh, I think I've gone to find my slide. Oh my. Okay, just a moment. Okay. Yeah. So, what is this course that I'm going to show you? Today? Power platform. Yeah, power platform engineering. Power platform engineering. So, let me just go ahead and share my screen. Yeah. Yes. Be how to start your um, career as a power platform engineer and as a DI developer. All right. Yeah. So, let's go now. Just a moment. Okay. I was having the shoes with my <laughs> wow. Okay, we got apologies. That's Yes, let's just go. All right. So, okay. Um, Alan wants to say something. That technology is, um, yeah, technology through automation and artificial, artificial intelligence is definitely one of the most disruptive sources, right? Technology through automation and artificial intelligence is, is definitely one of the disruptive sources. Technology is changing the order of the day, all right? Technology is really really changing the order of the day throughout yes to automation and even to artificial intelligence you will agree with me that um even the economy yeah, the economy of the world now the economy of a country is thriving yeah, is is thriving on the basis or probably on that country ability on that country technological the yeah resources on the resources that that um, country has you will agree with me, right? Yeah. So if technology through automation and artificial intelligence is changing almost everything, don't you want to know what it is? Right? Now, okay, let me I, I want to give you a perfect scenario. Yeah, before I before I talk about our platform. So let me just give you a perfect scenario. Now, um imagine a company. We have two companies, but these two companies, they are into the same thing. All right, it's just follow me. These two companies, they are into the same thing. And what are they into? These two companies, they supply building materials. They supply building materials all over the country. Okay, let me take Nigeria, for example. These two countries, they supply building materials all over Nigeria. And now, for them to supply building materials, they need to take stocks, right? Yeah, they really need to take stock. And now, and this is what we call inventory taking. But company A takes inventory manually by using paper, by um, doing things manually, using paperwork. And at the end of the day, they store the paperwork somewhere. Why? Um, okay, at the end of the day, they store the paperwork somewhere. But you will agree with me that this is not safe. Right, not safe. This is not safe in this present dispensation. It is not safe for a company to still be doing paperwork. But but this is what company B the company B decided to utilize technology. Yeah, yeah, te technological resources available. And how did they do that? By using power platform. By using what power platform, and the and what there is power platform for? It's not leading me to tell you 
yes, some things about Power Platform. Microsoft Power Platform consists of five components. It is one of Microsoft's products, all right? Microsoft Power Platform is one of Microsoft's products and it consists of five powerful products. And one of which is what we call Power Automate. That's why you are seeing um, automation on my screen. Before now, before, um, yeah, for programmers to, to be able to automate tasks, tasks or processes, it takes like they will need to write series of code, long chains of code, right? Before they'll be able to automate a particular process. Now, company B, they, they've automated all their processes such that as soon as um, the inventory officer takes inventory, what does, now what will happen as soon as the, the ticketing officer takes inventory? Upon the inventory officer submitting that inventory, um, the supervisor or the manager receives a notification. And that is the same thing that happens when you, when you make transactions using your bank. Everything is automation. Automation is now also becoming the order of the day. Human beings do not need to do um, repetitive tasks over and over again. And with Power Platform, uh, yes, and with Power Platform, we can actually achieve this through automation. And let me and let me tell you something nice about Power Platform. On, on September 20, right, yeah, three years back, Gartner published a report. Yeah, comparing different low code application plat platform. And let me tell you for free, you can even see it on my screen, you can go online and check. Power Platform happened to be among the top, right? And look at what Gartner said. Gartner predicted that by 2025, 70% of new applications developed by um, Microsoft Power Platform um, is, yeah, it is gonna be low code or no code technologies. Yes, it's now leading me to, to tell you another beautiful component of Power Platform, which is Power Apps, which is what? Power Apps. And what do we use Power Apps for? Power Apps is used for building custom applications. Power Apps is used for building custom applications. Company B that makes use of Power Platform in order for them to take inventory. They don't do it manually. How do they do it? They use Microsoft Power Apps. Power Apps allow users to build custom applications for programmers or for developers to build applications. So that goes in that it's going to take time. Yeah, it's yeah, it's going to take time, and they would really need to write series and series of codes in order for them to build that application successfully. But I want to tell you for free that it's Microsoft's Power Platform. Yes, you can build a power application, you can build a custom application that is gonna make your business process very, very efficient within a matter of hours. And not just, yeah, you not just save time. You not just save time. You, and that application is gonna work perfectly. And you don't even need to, you might use little, codes or using no codes at all. That makes sense, right? So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to run through the old stuff, right? Yeah, I'm just going to run through the old stuff. So what are you going to gain? What are you going to gain from our program? Yeah. This, I, I will still, I'm still going to come to this, all right? I'm still going to come to this. But um, from our program, yes, what are, what are, what are you going to learn? Um, you will, you will learn about Power Apps and you also learn about Power Automate that I have described, but that is not all. Remember I told you that Microsoft Power Platform consists of five, consists of five components. I've talked about um, Power Apps and I've also talked about Power. Now let's move to Power BI. Did you know that Power BI is one of the components in Microsoft Power Platform. We all hear of Power BI. Yes, you heard when AppSat um, and it's other persons that presented, they talked about Power BI, the beauty of Power BI. And I'm very sure you that you are yet is not the first time you're hearing about Power BI. 
But did you know that Power BI is just one of the power components in Microsoft Power Platform? And Power BI is what, what we use to create reports, to create dashboard, to visualize our data, to bring insights from our data, right? To bring insight from our data. Okay, but um, so I've talked about Power Apps, I've talked about Power Tunnels, and, and I've also talked about Power BI. So you would learn and you, de and you demonstrate the capabilities of all these components and also power virtual agents. Power virtual agents enable users or developers to build intelligent chatbots. Yes, what are chatbots? Just like your chat GPT, right? Yes, you can also build intelligent chatbots, integrate them with AI, and within a matter, yeah, within an hour or within a matter of yeah, hours, your chatbot is up and running. Your chatbot is up and running, and you can integrate them in your company's website. You can integrate them in your company's website. Or oh, and and the last component is Power Pages. Yeah, Power Pages allows you to build websites, websites for you to advertise your company's products. That. But we are not just going to teach you the five components of our platform. We are not leaving databases out of it, all right? We are not leaving databases out of it. We are also going to teach you SQL, just as you can see. Yes, we are also going to teach you SQL. So it's not just data analysts that use SQL. We will teach you how to write yeah, queries. We will teach you how to write queries using SQL, how to interact with databases, with SQL databases, how to bring up yeah, those your SQL tables, bring them up to Power BI and also work with them. All right. Okay. I promise I'm not going to talk much, right? Yeah, we are all going to see how this thing is done. We are we are going to see how it looks like. So what I will just do. So this is just uh, yeah, this is just an overview of how the curriculum looks like. You can see that this is real, right? This is real, and I tell you, I tell you, this is really, really, it is real for sure. So. Um, I'm just going to bring up um, some of our students, yeah, so that you would just see, yeah, yeah, just few of them, so that you would just see um, some of the beautiful things they've done with Microsoft Power Platform. Okay, I so sorry there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kingsley. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Aisha Stark Malaho, a senior data associate at 10 Analytics. We've all heard what Power Platform is about from Kingsley. We've all heard what a Power Platform engineer can do. Now it's time to see what a Power Platform engineer can do. And we have some wonderful participants in our midst who that registered for the Power Platform program. And they're going to be sharing us some of the amazing projects that they worked on. Uh, first, I'll be calling on Balkis. Uh, Balkis is going to be showing us a bot that she built using the Power Betra agents, which is one of the tools in the Power Platform ecosystem. Uh, Balkis, if you return, please, uh, could you uh, just uh, turn on the video, unmute yourself, and carry on? Um, good evening, everyone. Um, can you hear me? Good evening, Balkis. Yes, I, okay. I can. Um, good evening. My name is Balkis. I'm joining you um, live from Apoja. Um, analytics has been a wonderful experience. I'm sure everyone has heard about that. Um, one of the things that um, we actually benefited from this Power Platform course I'll be taking you through is the Power Virtual Agents. I'm sure every one of us at one point or the other have been able to uh, come across a chatbot while you sit in the website um, where you can easily um, insert a question and then you have like a little robot um, have a response to whatever you input into the system in order to get information about the organization. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and share my screen so that you understand explicitly what I'm trying to explain. Um...
Okay. Um, can you see my screen, please? Yes, you can. Okay. Um, this is a chat box that was created in class during the Power of Intelligence session. I named my chatbot slide, as you can see. Um, so this is the Power Virtual Agents platform. This is what it looks like. You have the home where you can create your bot or you can give your bot a name. I went ahead and created mine, gave it the name slide. And now this is the chatbot. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and let you see how it works. Okay. Um, pardon the network, please. Okay, so um, you can see there's an introduction phrase of the chatbot. You have hello and slide. How can I help you? So this chatbot actually was built um with some specific notion. Let's say uh, for this particular one, we had um a membership program, so we named it a tenality for short membership registration where you can register in order to get um book like a store if you want to go rent out and rent in any sort of novel that you're actually interested in so before you can go ahead to rent from them you need to register with the organization so um one of the things that you can do once you come across this kind of um um face you go ahead and you type the keyword um is actually a trigger face, that's what we call it. A trigger face is what you use in order to determine the kind of things the organization is either selling or advertising to you so that you can have more knowledge about it. So the trigger word for this particular chatbot is called bookshop membership registration. I'm going to go ahead to type so that you can see it. I click on enter. You see that it generates um a feedback. Um, that's because at the back end, um, in the developing stage, we've actually developed different series of um questions and answers for the chatbot, so that for every trigger word or phrase that you input into it, it can generate a response for you. So here I have um bookshop membership registration. Let's say I'm seeing this for the first time. I don't really know so much about the organization, and I need to um know exactly what it entails so i just know there's a trigger word it's called bookshop so if i put it says hello please confirm if you would like to be a member of tonalities bookshop if i go ahead and click on yes since that's my intention to begin with um okay so it says awesome you are one step closer to lots of fun and adventure can you answer some questions so that we can get to know you better what is your full name? So these are the steps or stages in which this bookshop registration have kept in place in order for you to complete the registration. So you input your name, you input some phone numbers. It doesn't, if it's an actual one, this is a test one that we did in class. If it's an actual one, you need to fill in the data correctly in order to get to the next stage. So then you need to input an email address. Okay, so here you would see that this is actually different from what we've been doing before. Here you have like um three options. So we created this also while doing this chatbot in order to generate, instead of you typing, you can go ahead to pick an option, either female, male, or you prefer not to say, however it's convenient for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on female. And then it's saying, thank you, you're almost there. What type of book would you like? Um, it depends on the kind of novel you like to read. Uh, let me pull romance. Okay, it says, awesome, great choice. Dear Balkis, membership cost is 1,000 euro per month. Is this acceptable? So we call this a Boolean, a Boolean um, power virtual agents is either the true or false option or the yes or no option, where whichever option you pick directs you to another aspect of it. So if I pick yes, 
or I click no, it's going to take me entirely to um, another aspect. So I'm going to go ahead to pick yes. That's one aspect of it. So it says, dear Balkis, thank you for registering with us. You would get a confirmation email soon, which is the email address I've dropped earlier. Um, did that answer your question? Yes. It says, great. Also in this chat box, you can rate your experience. Since I've been able to get the information in which I need and I've been able to be registered, I read for the five. And then it says, thanks for your feedback. Can I help you with anything else? Say no. Okay, goodbye. So that's like the end of that um, particular aspect for a membership registration. So you can see what it looks like to have a bot registered for an organization. Some companies use them for um, either offline base, probably maybe if they run a 24 hour sheet and they don't have staffs that can actually run that, you can input your information or your details ahead of time. By the time they resume work, um, the following day, they can pick up um, the information in which you've actually dropped and then a customer service representative or a representative of the organization can actually reach out to you. So it's also a way that organizations are adopting in order to be there um, every time when their clients or their customers actually need them to be. So this um, chatbot was actually very exciting to me. After we did this, we were actually able to publish in class. So if I go to here, so after this, you have three phases. There's a developing phase, which is what we did behind bars. This is the testing phase that I've just showed you. And then you have the production phase. That is where everyone can actually view and use it. So if you publish, which we actually did in class, you'll see as mine is dated, was published two months ago. I joined Tonalytics, I think that was um, ending of April, the last week in April. So this was done two months ago. And we're able to actually, you can copy the link after it's been published, you can share it on LinkedIn. I sent to some of my friends and families via mails. Um, and people were actually excited. Instantly that day after we finished the class, I had uh, family and friends reaching out to me. You need to do this for my uh, business. You need to let people know. You need to create this for me. It was, it was actually um, impressive. I was proud of myself at the same time. I didn't know it was actually possible. It was just something I actually see on people's websites. Um, is one of the advantage of taking this course. This is just one aspect of it, um, Power of Intelligence because um, Power Platform itself is like um, Kingsley described earlier, is um, stated into five different aspects. I saw a lot of people earlier talking about Power BI is also one aspect of it. You have the Power Apps, you have the Power Automate, you have SharePoint, which is another aspect in which I actually like. A lot of organizations use them as their, let me show you what a SharePoint looks like. A lot of organizations use them as, um, like their database, I think that's the best way to explain it, where their employees can actually dive in on online, offline, on any of their devices to actually source for data and can actually work wherever they are. It is not necessary while you have to be on your system, you can actually use it via phone. So, um, okay, this is what a share point of, this is what a share looks like for the bot I just showed you. So we also had the SharePoint created. You would see in the reader category, this is um, back end in the developer's level. You have fiction, you have oral, you have storybook, you have fantasy, you have romance. Because this has been created on the back end. There's a reason why when I picked romance as an option of book that I would like to register for, it was able to generate it for me. If romance was not actually imputed to begin with, it wouldn't bring you the information. So the trigger word or the phrase in which you use um, for the chatbot has to be something that has been embedded in the chatbot itself in the developing phase. So um, I think that's that. I don't want to take too much of our time. I'm sure a lot of us are tired and it's getting late. So thank you so much for Wonderful. having me. And thank you so much, Analytics, for this opportunity. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful, Barclays. That's absolutely amazing. That's absolutely amazing. To uh, access the the bots you use that Sly now does uh, did you build Sly uh, using any sort of code? No, it's um it's actually low code. I think that's one of the beautiful thing about Power Platform. I am actually someone that um, 
I don't like codes. So that was the very first thing I asked when I was going to pick this course. I hope we're not coding. That was the very first thing I said. I said, no, it's actually a local generating um, course. It wouldn't take so much. Um, it has to do with just, um, you need to be patient. You need to be attentive. You need to follow the process diligently and then it would actually generate it for you. It's, it's automated. That's another beautiful thing about Power, Power Platform. One of the aspects is that it's automated. So you have some things already generated on the back end for you. You just need to put in the right um, words, um, identifiers, and then it would generate it for you. So no, we actually did not um, use any sort of coding system to do this. Wow, wow. So uh, you literally built like a mini chat GPT now <laughs> without coding. That, that's amazing. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you so much, Barkis, for um, taking out You're the time welcome. to show us one of the wonderful things you uh, worked on during the course of your program. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so very much, Tenaliki. Bye. Yeah. Um, next, we'll be calling on uh, Matthew. Uh, Matthew will be showing us what an application he builds with uh, power, app, power apps. Remember, Kingsley made mention of uh, some of the applications in the power platform ecosystem the powers power to make power battery agents just like we saw uh, not too long ago so now we are going to be seeing the power apps what the power apps can do and how uh, Marty was able to integrate these to create a solution uh, basically so Mart matthew i uh, could you just uh, turn on your video so i could spotlight you and you could take us through uh, what you worked on Yeah, can you see me and can you hear me? Hello, Matthew. Hello. Right. Can yes, you hear me? Loud and clear. Cool. Right. This second year. Okay, so let me share my screen. Which is my screen? Okay, can you see my screen now? Uh, Hello? Yes, I can see your screen. Oh, sorry. Can you confirm what you're saying? Is that is that a uh, perhaps? I can page? I can see no no I can see a loan request uh, right. like a document basically. Right. Sorry about that. Okay. How about now? Okay. I see your screen. I can see your okay. power apps. Okay. I mean, um, I wanted to share the where the project was coming from before going to the power apps, but nevertheless, I would continue. Um, hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be with us today. Um, thanks, Tenalytics, for this opportunity to share my project. Um, so, my name is Matthew, um, Matthew Lashapo. I work currently as a fraud advisor with um, a bank in the UK where I'm joining from. Um, so, I mean, Kingsley has laid the foundation for Power Platform and I wouldn't really uh, go so much into that. So this project is a loan request app and created in Power Apps. Again, Power Platform has those four components. The Power Apps is to build rapid business application. I mean, you're building business application in a low code or no code environment. Power automates, automate workflows. Chatbot, uh, the, the Power Virtual Agent is a chatbot uh, for customer engagement and Power BI, you use that to uh, generate uh, reports and build dash, uh, dashboards. So that's, that's just like the summary of 
uh, of the power uh, components. So this loan request was a manual um, request uh, before, before I came up with this project. Sorry. So we had that paperwork that was on the screen, that, that form. That was what the, the company in, in this case uh, was using for their loan request. And you and I would understand li the limitations for, for that kind of process. It means if you had to submit a loan request on Friday and you were not in the office, you, you had to wait until Monday before you can go to the HR, pick the paper, get your pen and start filling it. And I mean, several things can happen. You delay the time, it delays your application process, a lot of paperwork, which of course is not cost effective. Um, and there's also tendency to have a lot of mistake in, in, in meaning where you're supposed to put the bank account number, you could have put, uh, let's say your son name there and it will still go. Then HR will have to call you and say, you need to correct something. So, but perhaps has allowed citizen developers. What do I mean by citizen developers? You're a developer, you are going to be working in the IT department. You are not a programmer, a pro programmer who would use all the, I mean, Java's of this world, Python of this world, yet you're still going to come up with a very intuitive um, application, user-friendly and easy to use that people can use anywhere, anytime in the comfort of their homes. So I call this project, the, 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 the name is, I, I called it Loan Express. And like I said, the objective is to digitize the process of requesting for loan in that particular organization. And with the help of Power Apps, um, this has been done. So this is the environment for Power Apps. This is a production, I mean, this, this is where the design is happening. Uh, if you can see my screen, you can see as I'm clicking on those um, items, you can see you can see um, everything where, so like Loan Express, if I have to edit this to call it something else, I can say Loan Pro. And then if I click out, you can see it's changed, but I will use Loan Express. Uh, sorry. So you can see that's like the drag and drop function of this. And um, you can see the welcome screen, you can see my application screen, you can see success screen and all of that. So I will just play this application for you to see what is happening. Look at it here. So whatever your needs are, it's fast and easy to apply for loan with Loan Express. Remember, I, I mentioned that this was a manual process. All I had to come up with this project was that paperwork that was given to me. Everything from scratch was built by myself. All the controls you would be saying built by myself. And so this is a welcome um, page. If you look at this welcome page, it says, hello, good evening, because the time where I am now is um, two minutes to 10 p.m. in the night. And that's why it's good evening. If it were to be morning, it will say hello, good morning, and then welcome Matthew Olashipo. Then uh, I can have the option to submit requests and to approve requests. Now, for this project, the the cons I mean the the um, stakeholder really is for uh, the requester to submit um, application. But for the purpose of this presentation, I've also added an approval. Um, uh, approve, approval stage to it, so you would be seeing that. So look at it, um, so submit. So this is the form now. I'm just going to use fictitious details here, um, just so that we can go look at one, two, three, and my number, that's national insurance number. And then Mr. Um, Mr. here, surname. Now, let me assume to submit this um, form. You see, it's not submitting because one of the things I have done is to define requirements, is to put those controls such that it would be difficult for you to submit this, um, this loan request and make mistake. 
and I can define as many requirements as I want. For instance, first name. First name. Now, um, sorry, let me put Michael and then date of birth 1990. Uh, bear with me, I have to minimize my screen a bit because I'm not able to click on that okay. I, I know you can see the okay, but my Zoom um, is coming in my way, if you understand that. Let me go there. Sorry about that. My, my Zoom is um, coming in the way of that for me to click that okay there. Uh, bear with me, hide video panel. Okay, I think you might be able to move the panel if that's what's the issue. Yeah, I'm trying to do that now. Oh, cool. So I've done that now. Thank you. Okay, yeah. So that's the date of birth and a marital status. Now you can see uh, marital status. I've also listed um I've, I've used a choice column here to define some of the the type of marital status i want if i want single if i want married if i want divorced if i want i can add anything here and that's one of the beauty you can edit your application on the own and, and for some of us who are familiar with scrum and agile methodologies we understand that that is a powerful tool meaning while the app is being used if there's a new requirement, you can take it and then go put it in the application. And number of dependent three. So for the purpose of time, I will not uh, fill those 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 ones that are not required. Um, so let me say G Michael at dot com. I don't want to spam anyone, so I'll just use a fictitious email here. Are you a these are the ones I want to know. And that's what I've defined. If you want me to add any one more, I can put how much do you want? Let's say 2,500 pounds. And then date of application, let's put today. Um, if you can't see my screen, let me know. Pay by, so how do you want it to be paid? Uh, Box payment and bank name, let's put first bank, uni I mean, account number, put something there. Purpose of loan for holiday to Bahamas. Um, let's say nature of employment, full time. And then like that, so that's the, okay, this one. Partner's name, Amy. And then hopefully we can submit now. Okay, it's not submitting because something has not been filled. Now imagine if this was a paper, you could have submitted this and then you'll be called two days later to come and fix this. And then if you see this button before I submit, if I needed to go back to home, I can click this or go back, I can click that and all of that will work. So submit this. Birthday is required, I'm not putting. Yeah, that's the birthday. Submit. Cool. So the request has been submitted and then that's, that's it for the requester and the person goes out of that. And then the approval, um, maybe the loan manager can come here. And now I need to mention something here. If you are the one using this, I have customized this to show your name. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Lulokwe and your picture will be showing here. It won't be my picture. That's the personalization that I've given to this application, to this app. And this is the request we've just submitted. Michael for holiday to Bahamas, 2,500 and all of that. Now look at what happens if you can see my screen. I'll show you the, um, 
I've also used Power Automate to automate the flow that the loan manager would receive this request and will be able to apply, I mean, approve it. And also the requester, which is Michael, will get an email that it, the loan has been submitted. Um, let me share that part of my screen. The, the quickly, let's see. Where is my flow? Okay, so that's the mail, 10.05. Where is that? Can you see my uh, my outlook? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. It just sent out. Oh, okay. Then, yes. Yeah, so that's the that loan can be actually approved by Teams or on the Outlook. So I've gotten the 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 notification for for Teams, but I will be approving in the. Cool, so this is the outlook now. So I would choose the option to approve this loan via my outlook. So look at this. So dear Matt, the loan request with the following details requires your attention. And I've said, give me the name, the purpose. Out of all of the things we filled, I just needed these five details to be, uh, to be presented to the loan manager for decision. So I can see approved. Um, all checks cleared and then submit. Working on it. Yeah, that's the loan approved. That's, that's team showing me that the loan has been approved. If you can see my teams, I can see it here. It's also showing that it's been approved. And if you look at the database, which is the, the, the SharePoint is what I use here. So one of the interesting thing about Power Platform is you can connect it to several data, uh, data sources, a lot of them, SharePoint, Excel, uh, Dataverse, uh, Page, a lot of them, and they are, they are over, over 250 of them. So regardless of what your organization use as their data source, you can connect it um, to Power Platform and they are constantly um, increasing the, the number of sources you can use. So if I, can you see my SharePoint now? My SharePoint yes, page. Yeah, can I you see it? it? You can yeah, see can. it. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, fantastic, thank you. So if I scroll down, you will see um, the, the, the request we've just submitted and the details of it. And you see what happens here. Now, all of those flows, uh, all of those connection with, with between Power Apps and Outlook and Teams were done by Power Automate. So I've used two applications out of, out of four um, that we have. Now, what can happen? This could have been an Excel sheet and it's also SharePoint. For those of us who are familiar with Power BI, you know that this, can then be taken to Power BI to analyze. So for instance, your manager can come and say, can you tell me how many people applied from Lagos um, for loan for holiday? And then you can generate that data. And with that, you've used Power BI. We've, we also went further in one of the project to use chatbot such that a loan requester or a service requester um, can query the status of the application. So that chatbot that Balkis showed you, you can configure, you can integrate it into this project such that it will tell the, uh, the user, your loan has been approved. This is the detail. This is the comment of the approval and all of that. So you can see how the Power Platform in, uh, collaborates together to streamline process. And what are some of the advantages of what has happened? It has improved efficiency and productivity. And you can see that there's reduction in uh, people work and uh, that, that makes it to avoid manual errors. And I've also streamlined the process, automated the flow, 
and you can also have accurate data in terms of data analysis to make data-driven decisions, which will help uh, productivity for the organization. And, and this is just one of the projects that um, I've done by participating in the Power Platform uh, project, um, I'm sorry, training for Tenalytics. I will encourage you, if you can, join the next batch. Really, uh, and I'm, and this is this may be sincere. Really, if you if you think this is for you, and I I encourage you to to try to join, and you are going to learn a lot of practical. I would also encourage you uh, because there will be some other value added uh, to your training in terms of LinkedIn optimization, CV review, mentorship. When you have uh, job interviews, you can have um, interview preparation. All of those sessions, please try and join, especially that mentorship session. You need it, you need to join it. It goes for a, a number of weeks or months during your training and even after the training. It is very important because they will bring experienced people um, to share knowledge with you, share industry best practices. And I mean, the sky, would just be the beginning. And for me, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, I, I learned a lot from that program and, and, and that's just, that's, that's, the, that's the beat I have to present this night, really. Oh, wow, Matthew, Thanks. thank you so, so thank much. Thank you so much, Matthew, for mm -hmm. that wonderful presentation. Uh, so if I understand clearly, what you've done is create an application using power apps that uh, you can request follow, that you can use the application to request follow. And you've automated everything in the sense that the manager gets, uh, that's using power automate as we can see now, but the manager gets- Yeah, that's gets power automate. Uh, if you give me one minute, sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay. If you give me one yeah, minute, I can quickly uh, show them this power automate. So the, this is the loan express flow. And I just said, uh, because that's my site, Matthew's site. This is the Loan Express. So if you see, if you see uh, on the SharePoint, I had lots of um, things that I've done here. So I said, show me, send an email to the person who has created that loan request, and the email will say your loan request has been submitted. Now you can you can customize this. You can put anything. You know, um, you can you can customize it. And I said, um, bear with me. Then this is the condition that I have set. If the, the request is approved, do this. Send an email to the person, your loan is approved and full details. For the purpose of this presentation, I just made it short, but of course in a work environment, you're gonna be putting more details and, uh, on this then um, if it is no, send an email also that your loan has been declined. Well, I didn't say it's declined on the, on the subject so that the person I can manage their expectation and then um, terminate this. So this is just an idea of what, what um, Power Automate um, can do to, to automate all of your workflows and a lot of, Project can be automated. We we did a certificate um, um, certificate design that one to very fantastic um, uh, project that when you have people come to your seminars, maybe one thousand or even in your church in your mosque anywhere, you can suggest to the team instead of printing um, certificate one by one and writing on it. Power platform can make it possible that you can dynamically. Uh, place their names, and within five seconds, they've received um, they've received their certificate in their inbox in PDF. And for anyone who is doing jobs that AI Power Platform can replace, it is the opportunity to upgrade. So that I mean, I, I saw a quote. It says um, AI will not replace you, but those using AI will. And that is it for all of these um skill of scaling and everything there's a lot going on and if we are not really catching up then we hope we are not replaced really 
Thank you so much for that wonderful presentation, Matthew. Thank you once again. Uh, we learned a lot from the students. So I'll be handing over to uh, Kingsley now to tell us uh, more about how we can register for those programs that we've seen amazing things about. Over to you, Kingsley. Okay, thank you, Isosa. Thank you so much, Matthew. Um, Matthew, okay, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, two things you can do with Power Platform, right? Now, yeah, I'm, can we all, I'm sure we can see on my screen, right? Yeah. Hello? Yes, we can see your screen. Okay, okay Danny, thank you for confirmation. Okay, yeah, so um, Matthew showed us a power application that would increase efficiency, reduce redundancy, and even increase accuracy. Imagine people, we are humans, people can also make mistakes, even while um, yeah, um, applying for loan manually. But um, yeah, using a Microsoft Power Platform, right? It could also increase accuracy such that um, validation of data is even required. You don't need to do things manually. So you can see the beautiful things of our platform. But I will just run quickly. So it's so we are not just going to teach you yeah, how to build an application, how to work with databases, right? There are also several benefits, all right? These are the other 50% you are also going to enjoy. Aside getting to learn about the product, getting to learn, yeah, yeah, getting to learn the technique, yeah, the technical advantage and all of that. All right. You will be, yeah, there will also be CV review sessions. Yesterday we had mentorship sessions in which we had one on one conversation, one on one talk with several participants, all right, working with their CV and also helping them on how they can navigate an interview and also LinkedIn optimization. LinkedIn optimization. We know that the main reason why people come to upskill themselves, the main reason why people come to learn this skill is because they want to get jobs. Yes, it is because they want to get a job. That is the end result. So we are not just going to give you after we finish teaching you everything. We, are, we will help you and, and two CV review sessions, LinkedIn optimization, optimize your LinkedIn account, make it look good and great, all right? And also Upwork optimization, Upwork optimization. Upwork is a freelancing website. It's gonna help you optimize your profile and it will help you teach you how to navigate through it. And also several things, how you would navigate through the job market. Yes, we, are, we also give recommendation and reference letter. I said it earlier, we also prepare you for job interview, right? Now, why are you just sitting down there? Why are you just looking? Don't you want to be a, don't you want to be a developer? Don't you want to earn in dollars? <laughs> don't you want to earn in dollar? I tell you, we, with Power, in, um, yes, in Power Platform, there are several goals you can land in. Take a look at your screen. You can see several roles on your screen, right? Several roles that is going to pay you well. Being a Power Platform engineer, being a BI engineer, being a data analyst, be a being a BI analyst, so, so mind blowing. Also, in fact, that is not even still all. That, so, it is, so, so we are just after quality. We are just after delivering quality to our participants. You heard it from our participants themselves, even before we came to talk about it. You edit it from them. We are after delivering quality. So after all what we have given you, yes, we, we are still going to um, give you one month free intensive internship. And you also edit it from one of our participants here in um, doing the financial analysis presentation, right? That you are not just learning. You're also working with real life projects. Yes, you're also working with projects. Um, employers want to see 
what have you built with the knowledge that you have? They don't just want to see certificates. You know that, right? Okay, if you don't know, I'm telling you for free. They don't just want to see certificates. They want to see, what have you worked on? Show me, let me see. Don't tell me, let me, yeah. And also, I've co coaching and mentoring. Trust us for that. Trust us for that. I talked about our growth internship program. Yes, we are going to give you real life projects to work on and um, um, yeah, intense coaching and mentoring is going to follow as well. Now, how much is it? I've been seeing several chats, several questions in the chat, people asking, how much is it? How much is it? How much is it? See, I tell you the truth, it's not expensive compared to the quality you are going to get. The first um, participants that presented during the um, financial um, analytic uh, sessions, she said something. She said, it is not, we should not even, yeah, don't think about the money yet, but think about the quality we are going to offer. So how much is it? Yes, we are paying in euros. It's just, just 400 euros and we are paying um, yes, using Nigerian Naira, it is just 320,000 Naira, just 320,000 Naira. And you can pay twice. Yeah, we also accept uh, um, payment in two installments. We also accept payment in two installments. But um, I want to show you something, and it is, yeah, it is a gift from us to you. Take a look at the next slide. So. So we are offering discounts to the first 20 participants to register. We are offering discounts to the first 20 participants to register. You are lucky to hear this because you waited till the end of the session. All right. So if I were you, I'm just going to take, yeah, I'm just going to take hold of this opportunity, take hold of this opportunity. So if you are paying in pounds, you are going to pay 300 euros instead of 400 euros. And if you're paying in Nera, you're going to pay 270,000 Nera. You have different mode of payment. You can pay to PayPal or you can pay to pay stack. The link is going to be posted on the chat very soon. And yeah, these are also our account details. If you want to pay via bank transfer or you are in the UK and you want to pay, yeah, so our wise bank. So that is, yeah, so see, um, the best time to start was yesterday. The best time to start was yesterday. So why not take that decision now? Take that now. You've not heard, like, you've heard several testimonies from our participants. If you, if, if you doubt us, you can go, you can go online, go to our social media and those. And in fact, yeah, yeah, we are going to see a series of testimonies. You could chat up these persons. Yeah, you could, just to tell you that you are in the right place to upskill yourself. There are several participants' testimonies, several of them, several, several. Time will not permit me to show you, like to play some of the videos, time will not just permit me. So I'm just going to give it up here, yeah, give um, Dami the floor now. She will also want to, um, yeah, tell you how much, yeah, how much if you want to venture into the financial analytics section. Thank so, you so much, Kinsley. Thank you for that. Um, all right, so thank you. Can you, so I can pull up my screen. So I'm just going to do a, a very quick run through of the financial analytics program and what you've been learning and everything that it actually entails. All right, so um, we should be able to close in the next 10 minutes. I'm just going to do... Okay, please confirm you can see my screen. It's still loading. I can see it now. Thank you. All right, so for everybody that has been asking that what is the financial analytics program about, this course is designed for both beginners and experienced professionals. You don't necessarily, like I said, you don't have to have an accounting background or a finance background to be able to take the financial analytics program. Okay, so the classes are very engaging, hands-on, working on constantly working on case studies, constantly building experience 
through learning. That's what we call experiential learning. All right. Our courses are structured in a way that it is 100% practical and it ensures that you get optimal value. You're going, to be get opti you're going to be getting optimal value for your money. And the program co um, covers problem solving. So you're going to be learning problem solving. You're going to be learning different kinds of analytics that we have and how to actually um, be able to sit and make sense of the problems or be able to draft out the problems that maybe the company or maybe the whatever you're working is having. All right, so you're going to be, going to be starting with problem solving. Then you move to Microsoft Excel, where you learn all the basics of Excel into the intermediate and advanced part of Excel down to dashboarding. Then you move to Power BI, you learn that data analytics functions and expressions, you learn dashboarding, you learn um data modeling and so on and so forth, building relationship between different um databases in Power BI. Then you also move to SQL, where we're going to be learning how to um work on databases, be able to query your data set, be able to draw out the information that you need from your data set. After which you move into accounting fundamentals, financial analysis, financial modeling like we showed earlier, um, valuation, and then scenario and sensitivity analysis, and also going to be working on leveraging chat GPT as a financial analyst. These are the things that you're going to be learning in that class. Okay. Um, like I said earlier, hundred percent learning. You don't necessarily have to be moving from one place to the other or trying to get a bus or jump. Be moving in between traffic to get to class. Hundred percent online. Going to be virtual, just like we're speaking now. That's what it's going to be like. Hands on and absolutely practical. Um, lifetime access to materials. So the way we're recording this this session right now is the same way all the classes are fully recorded. So you have the recordings in the class, and you can always go back to it whenever, wherever. Okay. So we're going to be covering a lot of topics in class. Sixteen classes and forty plus topics. Um, the average salary of a financial analyst or in an investment banker is about six million per annum. All right, you get to add six different projects to your portfolio. Hundred percent job prospect visibility. I'm going to explain that in a bit. Industry relevant certification. You can see that one of our students showed us a uh, um, certificate. All right, so you're going to be getting a certificate at the end of the program. Then the program is three months plus one month virtual internship. That's for the financial analytics program as well as the power platform engineering program. This is the, a more thorough breakdown of the financial analytics curriculum. So if you get the curriculum, please do well to, um, if you get the slides, please do well to go through the curriculum. All right. Um, now, what we've mentioned earlier is the is the 50 percent of the program the remaining 50 percent is majorly um about the internship the online portfolio you gaining job prospect visibility and of course coaching and mentoring now what is all of that about again i'm going to get back to it in a second okay so um this is the financial analytics roadmap where we have um, problem solving down to Microsoft Excel, Power BI, SQL, accounting fundamentals, financial analysis, valuation, and so on and so forth. Classes are on Saturdays, on weekends. So you don't have to bother if you, you are somebody who, um, who works nine to five. That's no problem. We have you covered. All right. So your classes are on Saturdays, live classes are on Saturdays. That's between 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. West African time. Then on Sundays, we have something that we call Watch Me Do It videos. These are pre recorded videos that we give to you. Like Omodele said earlier, you watch the videos over the week and then we come to class on Saturday to solve case studies based on these videos. Okay, so these are things that we call self-paced watch me do it videos. So you're gonna you're not going to be rushed or you pressured into watching three hours of classes or whatever, right? So you're coming to class to work on case studies and then we give 
the watch me do videos where you go and sit in your own home under your ac you watch the videos and then take assignments we have dropping sessions during the week and then start today we come back for the live class okay so it's four months of learning journey three months of life classes one month of virtual internship one month of virtual internship and these are various um profiles that you can explore as a financial analyst we have the investment banking research analyst corporate development private equity and venture capital financial planning and analysis and um, you can also our program our program prepares you for the certified financial analytics professional okay now meet your facilitators this is Ephemina april who is going to be taking you through some of the classes we have adesa suleiman who is the founder who is also showing up in your classes um meet nene um somebody mentioned nene earlier so this is nene Nene is going to be taking you through um your strategic plan she's a strategic planning professional and she's going to be taking you through some of the financial analytics um courses as well she is the financial analytics lead for analytics Okay, so we have Toyin. Toyin is one of your facilitators. We have Mohammed. We have um Dako. Dako is going to be taking you through Excel. All right. We have Olubemi as well. He's a Power BI um expert. So he's going to be taking you through Power BI. Um, so we have most some of them here as well. Okay. So after your life classes, you get to join the Tenalytics one month virtual growth internship. This is where you now come together to um, work more on the knowledge that you've gathered over the months. This is where you come to, to work on the knowledge that you've gathered over the months. This is where you get to work on more projects, more case studies to be able to build your portfolio, okay? And this is basically what the growth internship is about. It is free and you do not, you do not need to pay any other amount for the growth internship. So if... Again, you're looking to um, start your tech career journey, then you need to join the next cohort. And when is the next cohort starting? That is, um, okay, Saturday, our 5th of August, 2023. The next cohort is starting 5th of August, 2023, all right? So if you're looking to start your tech journey in this second half of the year then you definitely want to register for one of these programs now like um kingsley has said earlier the financial analytics program costs three hundred and twenty thousand naira if you're paying in naira and 400 pounds if you're paying in pounds but for the financial analytics program we also have something special for you and what is that um, for the first 20 persons to register, you get to pay the discounted amount. You get to pay the discounted amount, all right? So if you're paying in pounds, rather than pay 400 pounds, you get to pay 300 pounds. Now, you also get to pay in installments, all right? So you don't have to pay the entire 300 at a go. If you can, that's fine. But if you cannot, you get to pay the first payment you get to pay 200 pounds the second payment you get to pay 100 that's um after the program has started if you're paying in naira rather than pay 320,000 you get to pay 270,000 now you get to pay an installment as well that's 180,000 in um first installment then 90,000 in second installment if you're paying in us dollars 400 us dollars 300 in first installment 100 in second installment and if you're paying in Canadian dollars, that is 500 card. Um, that's 350 card in first installment and 150 in second installment. Now, listen, this is for the first 20 person, all right? So once we eat that mark, every other person is going to be paying the original amount, all right? So you want to ensure that you block block your discount block it before it gets we before we reach the first 20 okay so these are the account numbers on us on my screen and my colleague is also pasting it in the chat so you can do well to like pick it up from there and once you're done paying you can upload your payment receipt so that we can send you your class materials all right um 
you've seen the different projects that our students have shown earlier. And this is um these are more testimonials that you can go through eventually um during your leisure time. All right. So if you're ready to um get started with the financial analytics program, you definitely want to um take advantage of this discount and then send us the message as soon as you are ready. All right. So do we have any questions? Also, I'd like to add that um we also have various sessions, additional sessions that you can take advantage of as a student of analytics. And that includes LinkedIn optimization where we teach you how to make sense of your LinkedIn. LinkedIn is very, very important. People are getting jobs on LinkedIn every blessed day, right? But you have to have the right kind of profile. And this is what we're going to teach you how to do. We also teach you, I'm taking you through CV review sessions where we bring in an expert to teach you how to optimize your CV. You want to ensure that your CV is able to pass through the ATS um. It's your scanning method, tracking system. You want to ensure that your CV is well placed, well, everything is looking nice and neat. Then we also have the mentorship session, and this is weekly, all right? So the mentorship session every week, you're getting to learn from different experts in the field already. We'll be taking you through their journey, telling you, giving you nuggets, original nuggets that you can use to... um navigate your own tech journey then we also have um the you have the advantage of you know whenever you have a, an interview you need somebody to prep you we have experts that can prep you one-on-one -on -one interview preparation we also have that for all our students so you definitely want to take advantage of all of these things before it is too um late all right. So, do we have any questions? Okay. okay. Um, Betty, I believe you have a question. If you have a question, please use the raise an icon, and I will call you. If you have a question, please use the raise an icon, and I will call you. All right, Betty, you can go ahead and ask your question. Um, I Betty. Okay, I guess not. So do we have any other person with questions in the house? Yes, edit. All right, so you can send us a message and we'll definitely um navigate through that together. Um, please, I want to know, is the financial analytics program the same as the data analysis? No, the financial analytics program is different from the business analytics or data analytics program. They are not the same. They are from the same company, but they are, they are three different program, programs. Even the data analytics program is not the same as the business analysis program. They are different programs. All right, so we have a lot of things coming up for these various programs. You just need to be on the lookout and We'll definitely give you notifications. Edit, if you're in the WhatsApp group, um, what if you're in the WhatsApp community, you can send me a message. All right. So my name is Damlola, Lola Damlola on the group. You can send me a message and I will um definitely attend to you. Yes, for Stina, yes, they all um cost the same except the data engineering program. All right, so do we have any more questions in the house? No, the financial analytics program is different from the power platform engineering program. They are two different programs. All right. So um, if you if you're in need of clarity, you want to know which one to join between financial analytics and data um, and power platform engineering, you can book a one on one clarity session with us. So just send me a message um, on WhatsApp. You can get my number from the community. Just send me a message and I would um, book you for a one on one clarity session. All right. So that's for everybody that wants to that wants to book a clarity session to be to get um advice from 
experts on what to go for, right? So just send us a message, any of the admins actually, and we'll book you for a one-on-one -on -one crisis session. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the WhatsApp group, WhatsApp. Betty, are you in the WhatsApp community? All right, so just send any of the admins a message and we'll book you for the clarity session. Okay, so do not forget the next program, the next course is starting 5th of August. And we definitely want you to join us, be a part of us, and we we'll definitely help you to achieve everything that you you uh you have planned all right so um thank you so much everyone for coming we hope to see you in class enjoy the rest of your your day or your night and have a pleasant day uh or night okay so see you in class everyone bye bye everyone